I feel bad for Amber Rose and I feel bad for Emily Wachkowski when I hear the podcast and I hear two single women that are lamenting about men and lamenting about society. And I feel bad for men like Kid Cudi and I feel bad for men like Harry Styles when I see them wearing a dress because I know that this is not art and this is not creativity. These are, these are people that are deeply upset and deeply unhappy. Buried underneath it all, these people are not happy. And this is this is thing that makes no sense. You, we have a society and we have cultural messaging. Candace Owens has emerged as a well-known Shannon Sharp supporter amid the current wave of support that has followed the heated aftermath following Cat Williams' interview. Owens, who is well known for her integrity and dedication to the truth, has supported Sharp throughout his audacious investigations of prominent Hollywood personalities, such as Oprah Winfrey. Hollywood has never felt this pathetic. They have never felt this meaningless. They have never felt powerless, and that's for good reason. They are realizing that they're no longer rock and roll. Isn't that something? These people that branded themselves as against the grain, oh, different, are lining up with the establishment, demanding that people get censored, right? Demanding the maggot have to go away. Her reasoning emphasizes the rising agreement among celebrities to uphold integrity and honesty highlighting the need for more voices like Sharps to be heard in the struggle against deceit and manipulation in Hollywood. Everything that we're doing in the world right now is we're suffering from not being able to mind our own business. This idea, uh, you know, post World War II in inter uh, regarding international liberalism, that it was our, now we must spread our ideas everywhere and everybody must accept them. Maybe people don't want to live like Americans want to live. Have we ever thought mm -hmm. of that? Like maybe people in Iraq and Iran actually are not interested in the way that we live. Maybe people in Saudi Arabia are not interested in the way that Californians live. And by the way, if you're looking at what's going on in California and LA, does it seem like maybe people should be embracing Amer American values and principles at this moment? Like if if you could if you could buy them and purchase them right now as another country you probably would be wanting to go the other way hence mm -hmm. uganda and the laws that they're putting in place trying to keep this lgbtq agenda that americans are funding all across the world why are we funding that after revealing the identities of well-known hollywood figures like oprah winfrey during the contentious interview with cat williams shannon sharp was widely criticized and eventually fired one person who has always supported sharp is candace owens a well-known individual for her brave candor he now he says he he told me and 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 my guy Jordan is over there. He said now they're gonna come for you. I said can't come for me for what? I didn't say anything. Right. He said they're gonna come, and they're gonna say a lot of different things, and they're gonna be some people that you thought you might be able to get, but they're not gonna come now. Right. And that's absolutely has happened. That's absolutely has happened. Thanks for reaching out. We can't wait to sit down. And a day later, they can't do it, and then no call. They won't follow. So for the song. So I understand what comes along with an interview like that. Did I expect it? No. Did I expect all the negativity that came along? Because, you know, I had Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey did eight million views, had Coach Prime, had you know, I've had I've had a lot of comedians. And and, and some of the comedians had taken shots at other comedians, but nothing like that. This problem draws attention to the widespread problem of cancel culture and negative aspect of the entertainment industry that frequently suppresses opposing viewpoints. This episode emphasizes the necessity of openness, responsibility, and bravery while opposing the power structures in the industry. Cancel culture is very real, but it's crazy when you see cancel culture being used by celebrities to other celebrities. This is Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp has a huge podcast, which is called Club Shay Shay, which had a monumental interview with Cat Williams earlier this year, and that interview is still getting millions of views today. But ever since the interview with Cat Williams, where Cat Williams ousted dozens of celebrities and revealed a bunch of Hollywood secrets, Club Shay Shay has been going through a lot of turmoil. Celebrities canceling interviews that were booked months in advance to celebrities just outright not even speaking to Shannon Sharp when they see him in public. It's being said that Shannon Sharp broke the number one rule in Hollywood, which is to protect their secrets by all means. We're supposed to protect our secrets from being exposed to the world. Shannon Sharp, three-time NFL. Oprah Winfrey is largely acknowledged as the entertainment industry's gatekeeper, having a significant impact on Hollywood. Her enormous influence affects not just her media empire but also jobs, opportunities, and industry narratives. Fucking gatekeepers right now. Oprah's one of those. And Oprah got there by being one of the best talk show hosts of all time. Period. Books, talk show, all this shit. Black women love Oprah. Old to young. Black women love Oprah. However, there is something of, 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 a, of a need to keep Oprah out of this. She does nothing wrong. She, she can do no wrong. She can do no wrong. Doctor, 
Umar Johnson claims that Shannon Sharpie violated an unwritten Hollywood code by disclosing the personal information of well-known black celebrities. According to Dr. Omar, this act of speaking the truth shows how the company represses anyone who want to expose its internal operations. Sharp interviewed Cat Williams. He interviewed Steve Harvey. And Steve Harvey coming on Shannon Sharp's platform was kind of a big deal. Steve Harvey felt, Oprah felt, D.L. Hughley felt that Shannon Sharp should have been a little bit more protective of the reputations of the persons discussed on his platform. Sharp's actions expose the industry's lack of transparency and attempts to intimidate anybody who questions the status quo. Shannon Sharp broke the Hollywood rule. And what is the Hollywood rule, Art? When you discuss black celebrities, as a celebrity, you never let nobody give up our most intimate secrets. You're supposed to protect our secrets from being exposed to the world. This episode highlights Hollywood's widespread reach and the dire consequences of speaking the truth, as well as the extent to which the business will go to safeguard its interests through her stirring and inspirational speeches, which have a profound impact on millions of people, Oprah Winfrey has skillfully developed a motivating character. Oprah uses her remarks to inspire and energize people while enthralling spectators with her wise and caring manner. Job is not always going to fulfill you. <laughs> there will be some days that you just might be bored. Other days, you may not feel like going to work at all. Go anyway. And remember that your job is not who you are. It's just what you're doing on the way to who you will become. Many look up to her as an inspiration and a success story, and they respect and follow her guidance. Attitude is one of those words that's overused, but when practice can change everything about how you move through this world. It's my spiritual practice, and I know if you use it in those moments when everything feels like it might be falling apart, that's when you use it. It's great to do it. I mean, I journal every night too. I journal when things are going really well, but I'm telling you, it has the most powerful impact when you can do it, when you can sit and be grateful in the sorrow. When you can be grateful in the crisis when the biggest challenge of your life has showed up and you still can find something within yourself to be grateful for that's when it becomes the real deal but there is a darker side to this masterfully rendered image that is rarely seen by the general audience oprah is a complicated person who does a great job behind the scenes of preserving a polished public image her behavior and her character can run counter to the compassionate and loving persona she projects. I figured it out myself. Yes. And what you said, it actually builds confidence, validation. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Oprah told me this when I first decided to uh, build a studio. And I was asking how Harpo came to be. And she said, well, when she was doing her, her, her deal for the Oprah Winfrey show, she was re-upping her deal. And uh, actually the first contract she made, she, uh, and she said, well, don't pay me up front. Just I want to own a percentage of the show. Mm. And so they gave it to her. Now, at the time, there weren't any black women hosting a daytime talk show. Right? So it was really new. And, uh, and she said, you know, Kobe, if they believe that the show was going to be successful, they wouldn't have given me, given me that. <laughs> During a visit on Oprah's show, Michael Jackson began to sing in response to her personal and invasive questions. This was her way of retaliating after her earlier attempts to portray him negatively. Oprah refuted many accusations made against her on Twitter, asserting that they were incorrect. But when more people started to wonder about her motivations, the general consensus started to change. Yeah. And when you are, for instance, uh, when we were here before, you know what? I mean, all the things ever printed in the tabloid, the only things ever been true is when they said I couldn't dance. It doesn't when we were the last time shooting the commercial, you were like in between shots, running off, conceiving the dance, dance, choreographing the dance. You were up all night dancing. Every day. Uh, and she didn't. In March 2021, Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry had an extraordinary, highly personal interview. Thanks to Harry's frank answers to Oprah's pointed questions. Viewers were given a unique look into the private lives of the royal family. 
into this because she actually has spoken about everything that has gone on around her. An online um, story that Oprah Winfrey was arrested on charges of um, SEX apparently or human related kind of trafficking shot to viral status on you know this particular day in late March early April and she actually referenced it and talks about it and I had no idea and she says just got a phone call that my name is trending and being trolled for some awful fake thing. It's not true haven't been raided or arrested just sanitizing and self distancing with the rest of the world. Stay safe everybody. I to you I genuinely do I just feel like you know she's had such an extensive relationship with Harvey Weinstein they're together in so many pictures everywhere best of friends I just feel like to reach that level of a status of becoming a billionaire you have to know what's going down somewhere like I just feel like it's just to, just to see it as a hoax and that's it conspiracy okay bye that's it like, I don't know maybe there's something more to it we just don't know but to be honest with you she did address the matter and she did speak on it and I didn't report on that and I felt like you know this is causing a lot of scuttlebutt a lot of conversation in the past couple of months when people discovered Oprah's actual character, they became irritated with her. Her formerly unstoppable reputation suffered, and her fan following was extremely devastated by the discoveries. There's some inconsistencies because he's doing two things at once. He's going, I don't like the media, I don't like all the pressure, and then he's going, I'm going to start a media company, I'm going to go on Oprah, I'm going to move one hour away from Hollywood. It's like, man, you're, you couldn't move, you couldn't go on a worse show, couldn't move to a worse place. Don't tell me you have no interest in the spotlight. Yeah, of course I you mean, do. I think that him saying that was disingenuous. I also think that he is a certain level of lifestyle that he, I don't think he could take it down a notch. So he has to figure out how to support his lifestyle. Many people saw Oprah's well-known automobile giveaway as a tactic to enhance her reputation as a kind and compassionate person some even speculated that this action was designed to deflect criticism away from her improper behavior. What happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? <laughs> I know that the ones who love us will miss us. Oprah's quick weight reduction also sparked rumors and criticism some said she skipped meals in favor of taking shortcuts, casting doubt on her sincerity. We all watched her, you know, Oprah's favorite things. She gave so much stuff to the poor. She's always for the people. Her entire brand she gave, was she for gave, the people. She gave stuff to the people that came to her show. That's what I'm saying. One of the things that we all know was if you got to show on Oprah's favorite things and those cars the were Christmas. given. I remember Everyone all the cars, gets a new car. car. And like something crazy, like 90% of the people didn't get cars because they get, she forced them to pay the taxes. Pay the tax off the car. they couldn't afford the tax. Yeah. It felt so shady. What is that? Like, what does she get? Does she get a lot of money from branding that car company or? Well, you, the TV show knows that's what's going to happen. Graphics of the people coming to their so TV show. it's all an image branding thing? 100%. I'm going to give everyone here a new car. 250 people get new cars. Dude, that shit was the craziest thing ever on TV. It is. It, yeah, it totally was. Oprah Winfrey was not who she claimed to be behind her public image. Despite her reputation as a caring and helpful person, her behaviors betrayed a darker and more unpleasant reality. TV is someone taking Ozempic and he talks shit about it. And he yep. says, they're taking the shortcut and we get into it about it yep. because I get a little defensive. I don't always feel, I don't think it's a shortcut. Oh, wow. I think it's they're utilizing technology, like modern science. And hey, a cool medicine came out. People are abusing it like celebrities who just want to lose an extra 10 pounds. So you're, you're only talking, so why are, no, I, I, you're me, lying. Because you, you talk shit about Oprah. She's not abusing it for 10 pounds. She has had an obesity issue did, her entire did you say, life. Did you not say it would have helped our mothers? Our mothers were a right. huge beast. They would have saved her. It would have saved my mother. I know. I longer. That's exactly. different. Exactly. But no, but why, then why did, you, why did you say Oprah was taking a shortcut and you talked shit to the TV? Yeah, you did. She looks thin to me already. She didn't look that big. Because she took Ozempic. Oh, well, I didn't know. I've seen her in her other years. She didn't look to me. She's no, lost a lot of weight. Before her numerous falsehoods and devious strategies have come to light throughout time, portraying her as a monster who deceived the people with expertise. The sharp disparity between her private and public personas is making her admirers distrustful and disgruntled. BBL or something? Like, she has a... <laughs> but anyway, how old is Oprah? You're hilarious, man. Like, who made Oprah the... Like, I, I feel you, though. I'm looking at Oprah the arbiter or the leader of, like, black people. Like, who? She's 70. Oh, my God. Um, sure. Let me see what she looks like now. I haven't seen Oprah in a minute. So... I don't know what she looks like now. That's what she looks like right now? Yeah. So, anyway, she came out. She stepped down. Everybody who's been noticing was commenting mm -hmm. on her weight transformation and everything like that. They're like, oh, my God is this weight watch blah, blah 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 and she stepped down and then she finally admitted that she took the drug mm -hmm. so she was lying the whole time
It's just, she, I don't think she was lying because she never said, she never said she was on Weight Watchers. And like, it was just, she came out of darkness and she was skinny again. So everybody assumed it was Weight Watchers. Right. Oprah addressed the accusations going around about her Hawaiian properties in an interview. The examination of her answers heightened the doubts about her sincerity. In an interview, she posed a challenging question regarding her love of drugs, causing a stir and disclosing a side of herself that was not the virtuous person she seemed to be. In the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized and vilified online. I will say this, I came out of this experience, I was saying this to Arthur this morning, with so much passion for young kids, because I was thinking, what if I didn't really know who I am? What if I didn't have the assurance of Invictus that I am the master of my own fate and the captain of my soul? All of the online, uh, you know, being... Slander. And slam. Tax. Tax. Lies. Conspiracy theories. Would you look at that? Friends interviewing friends. Such great journalism. After all, it's one big club and we're not in it. Being terrorized and slandered online? There's a big difference between terrorizing somebody and calling them out on their BS. Like, you know, you asking us for money and us saying, well, you're a billionaire. Why would you ask us poor people when you can just take care of it? Gotta give it to you. Way to gaslight us. It's all our fault. And you're the perpetual victim. Oprah is enraged because Taraji P. Henson has publicly accused her of underpaying black artists. The conflict that exists between Oprah and a few of her employees is exemplified by their continuous feud. Give you any any sense of relief? At times. Don't forget, we had, there were some times we'd laugh our tails off, we'd have a ball. I mean, you know, sometimes you do have a good time. But when it gets to the point where you're sitting in your home and you're just, just trying to cover what you don't want people to know, it's painful. And then you want more, mm -hmm. just so that you don't let anybody see you cry. Mm -hmm. Or let anybody see that, you know, we're unhappy. It's not working. Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? You thought that your life as Whitney Houston, as we know her, was done. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I had so much money and so much access to what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And everybody was, give me what, what do you want, what do you need, you know? Mm -hmm. And I didn't think about the singing part anymore. Really? Yeah. You didn't miss it? Nope. My life went... <laughs> While several celebrities have backed Shannon Sharp, he has also drawn criticism. Weird is that video that came out with Fantasia and Oprah and Taraji with Taraji was sitting outside. I know they spun it, they spun it for it being like, oh, okay, well, Taraji was just coping. No, you can clearly see Fantasia face and you can see Taraji because they said that they were all like Taraji and Fantasia weren't getting paid enough on set and they didn't have good trailers. And it was just a whole bunch of stuff that was going on behind the scenes that Oprah just happened to fix once like people started going onto the internet about it. Nothing bad about Oprah is gonna ever get out there. <laughs> I think it's even crazier that Taraji even went online and like took back everything she said oh, oprah took care of everything everything was fine but she was just crying about how she wasn't getting paid but then you got tyler perry on top of that who came out and said another well, <laughs> he said that he paid her the most she's ever gotten his critics contend that by acting in this manner he would jeopardize his image because influential hollywood people would take offense as a celebrity art is supposed to know better shannon you can't let cat williams go in on steve harvey steve harvey is the a-list celebrity you can't let cat williams go in on oprah oprah is the a-list celebrity you can't let monique go in on oprah and steve they're a-list celebrity shannon sharp broke the one rule that is unforgivable by celebrities in show business you never expose or reveal our privations and Hollywood secrets to the public. Steve Harvey violated that rule. And as a result of that, a lot of celebrities are being told not to interview with Shannon Sharp. Not Steve, Shannon Sharp violated the rule. A lot of celebrities are being told not to interview with Shannon Sharp. A lot of his guests are canceling their interviews because they don't want to get blacklisted. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned and anyway, that's it for today video guys. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Also subscribe our channel for more videos.